are at Sunpot. Sunpot is a company with its own special profile. It's focused on MWT technology and has fully independent IP rights for MWT high efficiency back contact cell and module technology. Under the leadership of its founder, Dr. Zhang Hongming, the company has developed a range of innovative products, including flexible modules. Professor Martin Green, widely recognized as the father of photovoltaics, fulfills the role of chief scientist at some point, and will also be sharing his views with us today. Dear friends, I'm Martin Green. Chief Scientist of Sunport Power. During the last years, since 2019, Sunport Power has further advanced the development of advanced metal wrap-through technology, that's MWT for short, aiming at improving efficiency, reliability and reducing cost. Sunport Power was founded back in 2012 it has become the only vertically enterprise globally with systematic technologies and supply chains in MWT product manufacturing. MWT is a technology for making both positive and negative electrodes on the rear side of solar cells for modules of higher efficiency, better reliability, lower cost, better aesthetics, and also more environmentally friendly. Meanwhile, MWT is fully compatible with other technologies such as PERC, TOPCON, HJT, and bifacial double glass structures. This allows us to overlay various technical advantages and further improve module performance. Hello, Dr. Lu. What are the main products being displayed by Sunport at CCS SNEC? What are the technical highlights? Thanks, Lily. This year, we have released three newly developed products. They are C10 High Power Module, C10 Pro MWT Plus Heater Junction Super Efficient Module, and M Series Back Contact Bifacial MWT Double Glass Module. Benefiting from back contact technology, we have very big freedom in circuit design. Solar cells can be connected without limits of number and directions. Using the creative three parallel strings design, the VOC and the ISC are controlled at a more reasonable level and the circuit heat loss is obviously reduced. Module using small cells can also achieve high power. This C10 module provides power up to 660 watts and then conversion efficiency 21.5. This is the record for module assembled by 166 size wafer. Also, it is expected that with the combination of MWT and HJT, another 3 to 5 percent more power will be achieved compared to the conventional heterojunction product. We have introduced the innovative C10 Pro super efficient module with MWT and HJT heterojunction perfect combination, which offers 22.8% module efficiency and the maximum power of 700 watts. HJT low temperature processing plus MWT low temperature string free encapsulation technology completely solved the HJT cell encapsulation issues. And this is suitable for ultra thin silicon wafer application. So far, 120 micrometer thickness could be achieved without sacrificing production yield. This module will turn to mass production very soon. In addition, back contact and bifacial technology seems to be incompatible in people's mind. But this time, we broke the imagination. We launched the M series of bifacial back contact module. This bifacial double glass module is still based on MWT solar cell, but using full back soldering technology to eliminate the strain caused by bending the soldering belt in between solar cells. By the way, this bifacial rate of the module is more than 70%. 
combined with all other existing modules here, Sunport is capable of providing comprehensive product line for all different applications. The company's flexible modules have always attracted interest from the industry. What is the current update on the development and application of the product? Thanks, Lady. Good question. Um, in regards to the uh, application at building integrated PV or building attached PV, we started to design the uh, appropriate products probably four years ago to meet different requirements such as low light, flexibility, and building structural waterproof, electrically insulated. So far, we have completed hundreds of various systems. For example, a brand new off-grade low light system in Japan, the um, total capacity is 300 kilowatts, just uh, taken into operation beginning of this year. Apart from BIPV, the uh, vehicle integrated PV system is the other important target market. Finally, we realized that there's a challenge for all PV manufacturers. Building related products development must comply with building industry standards, not just photovoltaic standards. Only by combining the requirements of these two industries, we can get a good product to satisfy customers' projects. Thanks, PV Tech and all audience. Please come to us anytime, and you are all welcome. This is Sunport Power. Thank you.